Okay, got a call about a half hour ago from security at the University of Lethbridge. They phoned the rattlesnake hotline about a large snake that was straddling the concrete steps outside the east doors of the neuroscience building. Um, apparently the snake had gone in a hole, so it wasn't a big emergency because there's not much that can be done when a snake is in a hole. Apparently it had gone in a hole at the edge of the concrete and was being monitored by one of the security personnel. I'm on my way over there now, just minutes away. Um, I was outside of town when I got the call, but because the snake was in a hole, it's not like it, it was an emergency. Otherwise, I would have phoned one of the other uh, group members to go and check it out right away. Uh, but anyway, I'm pulling into the University of Lethbridge in just a moment, and we'll see what the situation is like. If it's still in the hole, there's not a lot that can be done. I mean, there probably are some more kind of intrusive methods that can be used. I can think of like flushing water down the hole, that kind of a thing. Um, but I'd rather not do that. I'd rather see if I can catch it while it's basking or something like that. So we'll see what the situation is anyway. All right. You see? Perfect, perfect. All right, so he's out of the hole. They got the area cordoned off. And I'm gonna go catch him. Yeah, that's good news. Uh, he's, uh, he's long but skinny. Yeah. Concrete meets the wall. He's just curled up in a nice little corner. Okay. There's 30 million people on the inside. Look. <laughs> So that hole is just below that. Yeah. That, uh, below the drain there. That's where he came from. He went out and then he circled around. So, all right, I'll try to head him off. Yeah, so I was a little bit concerned about the um, about the hole, whether or not there's babies or anything like that there. It doesn't seem like it. I don't know if, uh, if this one's a pregnant snake or not, um, but in any case, it's going to go to the North Riverstone Hibernacula. Um, it's a pretty big, pretty big snake. I'm going to take a look at it and see if I recognize it, get a, get a good picture of it. Yeah, I didn't catch it on video, but actually there was neonates here at the den site uh, where I just dropped this guy off. Some babies were, uh, were born, um, and uh, yeah, they just the, the last one of them slipped into the hole just as I put that guy in there. Well, that was pretty cool for me. Um, sorry I couldn't catch it all on film. Things just were happening too fast, but. Uh, it was good to see that there were neonates at the site that the uh, mother had been at that particular den um, for 
the last few months had finally had her baby successfully. I saw at least three neonates uh, in, the, in the time that I was there to drop off the, the snake. And so um, that's really good news because then you know, you know, as long as there's, as long as there's uh, new snakes being born and older snakes like the one I dropped off there and, you know, nice uh, younger adult snakes like the mother who had those babies, um, you know, things are looking, looking pretty good for them population wise here. And I think they're going to be able to um, continue to thrive here. You know, as long as we have um, a program like this that ensures that uh, there's a, another way to negotiate uh, the mitigation of these snakes when people encounter them other than just um, reacting violently toward them. So, good news, and that's another successful snake relocation.